Good morning, people. Today is day six post-op of my gastric bypass, which I had last Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. So, uh, for those of you who've just joined my channel, hi, my name's Jan Silver. I'm 44 years old, and I've been video blogging my journey to thindom, to, yeah. Um, I just wanted to put down <clears throat> and kind of have on file exactly how I feel at each stage of the way. I found so much inspiration from other people's stories that I felt maybe I could be of help to somebody else. So I had my surgery privately through the Berkshire Independent and my surgeon was Dr. R Ramus. He had two other surgeons that he works with on the bariatric team, one being Greg Jones and a lady, I can't remember her name because I only met her the day I left off to hospital. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty good today. <clears throat> a quick update on yesterday. I know I said I thought that I was getting um, cystitis, which I very well may have been, but I managed to, for the first time since surgery, I drank two and a half of these. So it's over a litre of very weak squash, um, which I think has just done me the world of good because I, I obviously peed a lot and um, I've cleared whatever. How he did go and pick me up some... Uh, medication from the doctors which were huge pills I tried to cut them up even into a quarter but somehow it got stuck here and I threw it back up again so I thought I'm just gonna have to try and flush it through with this and um, I shall get some cranberry juice at some point today how he's gone back to work today so it's my first day on my own um, like I said I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good I do have to remind myself that I've had surgery <clears throat> I think I can do stuff and then suddenly you come over all weak and dizzy and you know a bit sweaty so you kind of think you've overexerted yourself and I have to try and say just slow it down you, you know um, I'm a bit like a bull in the china shop at times that just made me laugh actually I've just remembered when I came round from surgery um, I do remember coming into the room and seeing Howie and um I remember a nurse in a blue uniform and she was trying to work out the blood pressure monitor to put it on me and I was obviously in and out of sleep but she was being kind of rough with my arm I mean there was nothing on my arm my cannula was in this hand as you can see from the bruise um but and I was I remember saying oh she's like a bull in a china shop bro oh, can you be gentle with me <laughs> and Howard said it was actually quite funny so that's me though isn't it that's me um, I wanted to talk today, a few people have kind of, I, not questioned, but asked me, <clears throat> questioned, like I had a bath yesterday and people are like, oh, my surgeon said I couldn't have a bath until such and such a day or, oh, you're not supposed to have anything but clear fluids. I just wanted to really clear that up with people because if you are thinking about going into this, it is all good and well reading all of our stories and looking into our journeys. But you must remember that every single person is going to have an individual story, and that's surgeons included. You know, my surgeon, what he has dictated for me is not the same as somebody else. I'm, I, I have a girlfriend online, Kim, who's in America. Um, she had surgery the same day as me, and she just said on Instagram this morning that she's been told it will be two months before she can bath. Poor thing. But, you know, <clears throat> my surgeon is quite laid back and easy going. And his instructions to me after the operation, even about my eating and drinking were, as long as it's fluid and it's going down, be sensible. He never gave me an amount that I had to drink water wise to keep my fluids up. He never he just presumed that I would know my own body, and I have done. And he said, be sensible. Now, according to everybody else's post-surgery, you have a clear fluid for one week, and then for the second week, you can have a pureed kind of food. Some people, anyway. Um, and already my body, <clears throat> yesterday, not my body, I think it's my brain. There's a really weird dysfunction going on somewhere because I think I want food proper food like cheese and um cheese mainly and that's really weird because I can't even say it's a craving when you have a craving it's it's up here but you're also hungry aren't you well I'm not hungry physically 
So it's quite a strange feeling that your head's telling you, oh, I just want to eat a piece of cheese. I want Parmesan cheese. I want little chunks of Parmesan cheese really weirdly, which I know absolutely I cannot have at the moment. Um, I will get there, obviously. And I've been looking at a lot of what other people are eating, trying to plan what I can have on my pureed stage. But Harry had already bought me things like... Um, oat fruit and breakfast which is a uh, obviously an oat but it's a puree it's a bit like a baby food um and you can get them in different flavors so there's an apple and cinnamon as well as this i think he picked these up in waitrose by the way so <clears throat> this morning for instance i had those one of those two teaspoons mixed in with a half a pot of weight watchers yogurt absolutely de delicious and filled me up that's done me till lunchtime so and that's puree so I basically have naturally put myself onto the puree probably a day earlier than other people have been told but as I said before my surgeon never really dictated he just said go with it you know go with what your body wants what your body needs and be sensible so that's exactly what we are doing something else that's been really good that Harry found were these um smoothies so they're very much like yogurts, I guess. I think, again, these were Waitrose. Very much like yogurts. So whilst I have my water bottle with me with a weak squash all day, I've also got one of these. So, you know, you kind of think, well, okay, it's about lunchtime. I'll have a little bit of that now. Soup isn't doing it for me anymore. Bearing in mind, I did that for two solid weeks before surgery. Um, <clears throat> I thought I'd be off yogurts as well. But actually, the, the fruity flavour of a yogurt is quite nice. I'm tolerating colder uh, foods again at the moment, which is really good too. Um, and I, I think that's about it today, really. My emotions petered off yesterday, thank goodness. And like I said, I'm on my own today, so I just need to not do too much, you know. I'm very aware that how Howie might do stuff isn't how I would do stuff, so I've already kind of wiped all the surfaces this morning. Sorry, Howie. But I don't think he sees the crumbs that I see, so... Um, I'm a little bit particular, but I need to say, no, don't do that. You know, just go and sit down now. So I've had my shower, <clears throat> felt a little bit weak after that, but came down and had breakfast, done my injections, and I slept well as well, by the way. I went back upstairs to my own bed last night for the first time, and I slept well. Initially, I didn't, because the mattress was slightly different to what I've been used to, and had like a it's almost like a bruisy feeling on my my where my operation was and it's almost like a bruisy feeling on the end of the rib so and I sleep on my side um and a, and a really big positive that I'm not sure I've said enough is I have suffered with a bad back for many 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 years uh, as long as I can probably as long as I've been a mother which is 26 years and um leading up to my surgery or the choice of making my surgery I had suffered on a daily basis. I got sciatica, I'd get out of bed in the morning and stand up. I couldn't then sit back down again, or if I sat down, I couldn't then get back up again. I was all right in either position, up or down, but it was the in-between stages that pulled on my sciatic nerve all the way down, sitting in my car, oh my God, using my left foot for the clutch control was absolute agony. I saw the doctor, I saw the physio, I couldn't see my usual chiropractor. She's been off sick. Um, <clears throat> hope she's recovering well. She'd been off sick for some time. So I kind of thought I'll wait till she's back before I get a, an MOT on my back. But the positive with all of this is about <sighs> into the liver reduction diet, I'd lost the stone, as you all know. And it was really weird because... I touch wood have not suffered with my back since then and it's almost unbelievable you know was it just a weight issue was it that I went past a certain weight that my body just went uh uh this is not good this is not happening and I'm going to pinch your nerve and I'm going to make agony every single day uh, I don't know but I'm just saying I am so grateful for not having back pain because if I'd have had that while having this life could have been pretty bloody miserable and it's not so you know there's another thing I'm, I'm I think I'm sort of due my period at some point soon but that seems to be staving off and I've heard other people's 
stories of this surgery where they they actually came on on the day of surgery and then had a month long period i mean how miserable is that and at the moment i'm just really grateful because my body seems to be doing what it needs to do to recover as long as i remember to sit down and not do too much so what i'm looking forward to i'm looking forward to tomorrow some hummus mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be too thick or not, but I'm going to try it anyway, because that's a puree. I can have hummus and some cheese triangles. So that is what I'm really excited about. I'm going to get my husband to go and get that when he gets back from work. And that will be my tasters tomorrow. Um, anyway, guys, this is a long one today, over 10 minutes. So I just wanted to say hi. And as you can see, I'm doing really, really well. Day six. Um, if you haven't already, click like and subscribe. I'm on Instagram, looking on the lighter side of life. And good luck to any of you that are thinking to going into this. It's not quite as bad as you imagine. Um, it's okay. And, and I'm going to get there. I'm, oh, I'm just over a stone lost as well at the moment. So that's promising. So, you know, I, I'm excited to start to see my weight plummet. I know at the moment my body's in shock because of surgery. So I need to allow that to heal. And then the weight will start coming off properly. Um, and then I think I might start telling you my stats. My husband's just written me a great um, weight graph with kilos, pounds and stones in it. So I'll be able to tell you all. I did tell my brother yesterday how much I weighed. I think he probably fell over. Anyway, 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 guys, it's a beautiful day out there. So I hope you have a lovely day, everybody. Take care. See you again. Bye.